whenever you get any questions from floor marks please write the meaning of consumer protection and then go with these things and start explaining it the competition act 2002 see 2002 what happened was there was a lot of competitions where just to make sure that there should be healthy competition this act was introduced right to consumer education as a consumer we should get education based on the goods the product and other kind of a services which is there Hello everybody a warm welcome to one and all I'm Abhilash Chandra from the Department of Commerce and Management in Vidyashram Pure College the Temple of Excellence welcome to the 12th chapter revision consumer protection now in this chapter you will be getting eight marks so what exactly the pattern would be the same kind of a thing that is here one mark two mark four mark and eight marks right so in this chapter you will get one one mark question one two mark question and one four mark question in this chapter you do not have a eight mark question so do not study for any of the topic which is for eight marks because in this chapter you will not get any question from eight marks at all so part a part b part c only you need to concentrate there so here one one mark question what exactly the question can come as when was the consumer act that is what they can give you a twist so 1986 is what you are supposed to write or you can actually write a uh, question can come that what is consumer protection so you can write this consumer protection safeguards the well being and interest of consumers through education mobilization and representation so you can write this one marks very fast you people will or you can also get a question that is here define consumer protection so you can define the same kind of a thing write the same things like here consumer protection ensures that consumer make well informed decisions about their choices and have access to effective redress mechanisms so here you can actually take any of these two examples and then you can write it legal protections to consumer this can come for four marks whenever you get any question for four marks please write the meaning of consumer protection and then go with these things and start explaining it now given you have five you just need to write only four so the consumer protection act 1986 the indian contract act 1872 the sales of goods act 1930 the essentials commodity act 1955 the agriculture produce act 1937 any of these things you can actually take because that will actually legally protect the consumer from any kind of a problem legal protections to consumers here i have actually given you more the prevention of food adulteration 1954 the standards of weights and measurement act 1976 the trademark act 1999 the competition act 2002 see 2002 what happened was there was a lot of competitions where just to make sure that there should be healthy competition this act was introduced so that is what the competition act 2002 the bureau of indian standard which we also called as bis you would have uh, heard from so many places what exactly bis is that is bureau of indian standard 1986 so i've given you all these act only go with four of these acts which can actually protect the consumer through the legality of the indian constitution we can actually go with these any four you just practice for it so please do not forget to write the first one consumer protection act 1986 the entire chapter is all about this consumer protection act 1986 and from that take any four you can write it next is consumer rights this can also come for four marks right i've given you more but what is that you are supposed to do is only by heart four topics and then explain about it so write the meaning of consumer protection and then you can go with these things the first one is right to safety right to be informed right to be assured right to be heard right to seek redress and then right to consumer education now here what happens is as a consumer whenever we go and we buy any product what is that we should always go is check the product right the manufacturing date the price of it when it will get expired all these are what are duties the same way we also have something called rights 
Now, nobody can say that we can't follow our rights. Eh? The rights of consumer is what? Right to safety. Whatever the product which we are getting, is it of good quality or not? So, we to get a good quality of product, that is our right. Right to be informed, the person who is selling any kind of a thing, he should inform us everything and we can ask him n number of questions. Right to be assured, the assurance should be there. Right to be heard. Now, when we are talking, they are supposed to hear us. That is our right. Right to seek redressal. If any problem happens, we have all the things we can actually go for redressal. Right to consumer education. As a consumer, we should get education based on the goods, the product and other kind of a services which is there. Ways and means of consumer protection. How consumer protection can actually happen. One is self-regulation of business. Business association, consumer awareness, consumer organization and the government. See, government with the consumer awareness, it goes with one of the slogan, right? Jago, Grahak, Jago. That is, you need to get to know each and everything about the product. You can't get cheated, right? So that is what the ways and means of consumer protection. This can also come for four marks. Redressal agencies under the Consumer Protection Act, there are three. It, it is like district wise, state wise and national wise. Now here you can get a POQ question that is you need to write a letter on the redressal for the national or district or for the state. Role of consumer organization and NGOs. This if it comes for four marks, what is that you should do is write the meaning of consumer protection then go with these things i have given you here say three points i have given here two and the next slide i have given one more so educating general public about consumer rights by organizing training programs seminars and workshops so here usually what happens when you are in school itself there are so many people who are gonna come and they're gonna tell you how to do this adulteration test Right? That is what happens here. There are a few NGOs who comes to your schools or colleges where they're going to tell you. See, some of the adulteration which you people need to know is, say pepper is there, right? Pepper is very costly. So, pepper is being adulterated with papaya seeds which looks exactly like pepper. So, what happens is, say 1 kg of pepper, 50 to say 300 grams of papaya seeds are mixed. So, what will happen is, the adulteration will increase. The same way like mustard, mustard is very costly. Just to replace that what they do, they adulterate with ragi. Now ragi is very cheaper. So what happens, say example now 10 kgs of mustards, they will add say 2 kgs of uh, ragi. So what will happen, 12 kgs of mustards, they will actually sell it. So these are the common adulteration which happen. So we need to get adequate knowledge so that we will not be cheated by anybody. Publishing periodically and other publication to impart knowledge about consumer problem, legal reporting, relief available and other matters of interest. So, they need to periodically, they need to publish that. Next is carrying out comparative testing of consumer product in accredited laboratories to test relative qualities of competing brands and publishing the test results for the benefit of consumers. See, this also happened if you people are aware of the product Maggi. Maggi was tested in so many laboratories, right? There were also a ban for Maggi for some extent of time. Later, they came back saying that we have not done anything and then even now Maggi is used all over the world. Please understand this concept. That is, we need to actually see to it but what the laboratories they check and they'll get to know that how much adulteration is there, how much uh, chemicals are actually put in that particular thing and is it good for us to consume or not. So these are the things which we need to know as a consumer. Any doubt regarding this chapter, please do call us. We are always there to help you. This chapter will give you how many marks? Eight marks. One mark question will be there. Two mark question will be there. Four mark question will also be there. So any doubt, please do college. We are always there. Thank you. Have a nice day. I'll see you when I see you.